Hey everybody. Yep, we're gonna be uh, the Dark Hearts Battle Arena won the vote that I had, the poll that I had, and so we're gonna do a little bit of the story first, and then go into that. So we'll be probably be able to complete some challenges. What's up, Stolen? Oh, and if you want to check out uh, the, yeah, definitely. If you want to check out the podcast for uh, a Dicey Experience, do uh, exclamation point Dicey Podcast in the chat. Nice cookies are good. I had some ice cream earlier. Not uh, Bluebell. Sadly, <laughs> they don't have a fudge swirl, do they? Here's the Slytherin common room, well, bedroom for the guys. So apparently this is underwater. This is under the Black Lake. And if you. Okay. I suppose some introductions are in order. Well, I suppose. If you go over here. Right here. Aim at the glass. Well. See, it's underwater anyway. If you do it enough, the giant squid uh, will uh, put his tentacle up there. Maybe it's a different one. said that eh whatever uh, might want to think that again I I think I heard one Maybe it's after this part. Dark mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you. Oh, they do? Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Made in the shade. Okay. I'll have to remember that and check for it. <laughs> What should I say? <laughs> Terrifying or be cocky about it? Yeah, that's what I think. If I'm going to make my mark here, I have to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you will be. Were you expecting to be sourced into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. 
Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. They're known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. He's going to come in handy later. When we go to learn the unforgivable, that, unforgivable curses. Trust me. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Check me. Told you. You should have listened to me. Oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. We had it handled, right? <laughs> we handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Thanks. Slytherin has all the uh, unlockable things. Because, well, spoilers a little bit. But she is one of the people that you talk to upgrade your broom well you have to talk to him her to upgrade your broom because it's part of a competition uh then the last one is part of the story to get the unforgivable curses during normal gameplay and then the other one is how you unlock the unfor unforgivable curses which We'll meet in a second. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving <laughs> Did you see that guy? Look at him looking in the background. Goodbye, Melba. Nice meeting you. Talk about photo bomb. I'm gonna try it one more time. Oh look! There's the tentacle. Maybe it has to be in the frame or in the window for it to happen. I don't know. We got to get to the story. Thought I heard someone say something over there. That is not helpful. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sala. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. 
It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. <laughs> nice. Thanks for clipping that. It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Is the new fifth year Slytherin here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs down by the lake. Except when the giant squid flies past. Not much for soggy sandwich. I trust, I trust you're ready, ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Rebellion. Why don't you cast Rebellion on that statue? This statue depicts the Count Kelpy, a shape shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Huh. Interesting. That's not true. It's not the only way to earn experience.
clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. That's so cool. I wish Gryffindor had something cool like that. Like, you know, the giant, the mouth of a giant uh, lion opening up, that would be cool. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Apparently we weren't done with the uh, tutorial. <laughs> And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Ronan is good, is funny. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecat in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain. I want to know my character's background. You should be able to find all of the schools. Like, why are they come? Why are they? Hogsmeade. Like, who's their parents and all? Also, <laughs> I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that full dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Should I lie or say I'm afraid there is, or say uh, there he is? We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons Fair. for keeping the details <laughs> to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes, you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare 
aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about... Exploring ruins. Mm. I say it was nothing, sir. Going by what I think we're going to choose at the end of the story. Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Dude, then all this live stream. Which should we do first? Charms or Defense Against the Dark Arts? The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will we'll be learn, incredibly uh, Thank you. Akio. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Apparently doors are difficult for wizards too. It's not just a D and D thing.
Where'd they go? I don't know where they went. I was gonna follow them. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. I'm gonna start class. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. I like him. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Yeah, I like him. Brendan's a good, t a, a cool teacher. Professor. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? 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 That's okay. Very good. Point I'm just trying to hurry. <laughs> but there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you I'll do better this give round. a new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. And next round. You'll be the blues. Just... What difficulty do I have it on? Normal. 
thought it was on story. Back. Sorry. My bad. Did I change the uh, difficulty? No, I'm not doing hard. Not with this one. We're just trying to get to the 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 the, the um. Yeah, I'm doing story because. That's the only way I'm going to be able to do the Dark Arts uh, Battle Arena when we get there. <laughs> at least at my level. And not having talents. Unless or not, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. My first. What is that is how it's done. Yeah, I'm just gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna knock curves off. I'm gonna just do story mode. I think. Trying to knock mine off too. Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna try to knock another one of hers off. It's too far. Not exactly your typical left when you see it. Not that I mind. Splendid! Push me out of the way, why don't you? Hey. play the, a game with just playing that <laughs> let us make this a bit more interesting shall we that's fine <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point who's first I'll say hey, enough chatter focus now you will need it this round settles it all okay, go. In my way, Ronan. Ah, a little bit too hard. Go, push it off. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one more round. <laughs> Very good, both of you. Well done. Yeah, I could play a game with just that.
Well, I'm not. What if? What if you're not first or last? Pass is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. A tight game. It turns out we were evenly matched. We're not Ricky Bobby here. To become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier. I promise. I need to watch that movie again. I'm going to be nice to her. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? It addresses mountains of the moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in mid-air. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Incredible, or surely the magic is weaker. On my first playthrough, on my on my other playthrough, I've been I said that's incredible. I wish we could uh, use magic without a wand. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh yes, I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Course. A word can if you would. on humans, if you're so inclined. After my brother. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Bastion. You know it won't work on humans. Yeah, Ominous is blind, by the way. See, he's using his wine as a walking. Thing. <laughs> Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. <laughs> yeah. His eyes give it away. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well... An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? And what a close match between you and Miss Onai. Invigorating. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Uh, extra credit. Hello there. We're very new students, aren't you? Hello. 
You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charm time work. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Time to go to defense against the dark arts. Wait, where is it? We. Rebellion. Remember there being a thing somewhere around here. Page. Oh well. I wonder if I can do this puzzle without talking to that person. Lumos. Oh, I can. Hmm. Rebellion. I'm getting distracted, I know. My dad. I feel good. <laughs> we probably won't get to do the Dark Arts uh, Battle Arena tonight. <laughs> because of how distracted we'll anyone. get. Or I'll get. Fair. I gotta look out for this. If you see an archway like that, let me know. Is it over this way? No. It wouldn't be over there. Wait, I think I know where it is. Maybe I don't. Anyway. Rebellion. Just in case it's around here. I think there's a thing over here too. Nope. My controller just vibrated for some reason. Oh, because of the that chest. That type of chest is the thing where you, you gotta do a thing. You gotta unlock the illusion disillusionment charm. You'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. 
knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent has a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Apparently, there's two different charms for, or incantations for levitating stuff and people. Now, let's try something a little larger. your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso. good. Now, well done. Levioso. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, Basic cost and Protego. You may begin. This should be good form. I know. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Stupid Protego. Okay, so. I do need to join a lively duel. If only all of my students were this adept. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again. Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon.
Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. He reminds me of uh, the Weasley twins a little bit. It'd help if I was tracking something. Yeah, I can't go to the dark arts thing until I uh... explain why I have received a letter from a muggle claiming to be the mother of a friend of yours asking me to afternoon tea. What did I tell you about making friends with Muggleborn? I am highly affronted. You will not associate with this friend anymore. And if I hear from this woman again, I will see to it myself that you don't. <laughs> I might get told off. Rebellion. She said I could swim, did you, Praxia Mole? As long as we only want time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the meek. Please, please, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swing. Rebellion. Whee! I'll get you for this. Huh. Nice. I have to come back here once we get a Alohomora. Which takes My siblings and I have all been a really long time. Rebellion. Do a chest. Hey, isn't there something else in here? Maybe it was a different one. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for Crossed Ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does Cross Ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Bonds, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the Door. ring. Spe let the fireworks begin!
will make you regret signing up. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Cross Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. You will. I go ahead and do those side quests or just go straight to the main quest so I can get to Hogsmeade and get my stuff and my wand I still haven't gone, gone to Hogsmeade and got my wand yet either I kind of want to do that at least We'll do the side quest though. It's e it's an easy side quest. Both of them are. Oh, wrong button. Moth to a frame or flying off the shelves. One takes this one takes us to the library. This one takes us. This one just shows what the uh, uh, puzzle does. I'm gonna do the frame one first, I think. Cause they're around the same area, so. The, uh, the library one takes a little bit longer. Not much. I hope I'm well. Oh. One day. What am I? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos! Do come and find me if you step. That spot must be a clue. Wish I should look around in case it's nearby. Hello, sir. Nope, I'm over sad. I just know you are kind of Accurate. Yeah. Lumos. This looks like the location from the painting. Let's yeah. get you back to your frame, little moth. Nobody can do it. Ha! I knew 
knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. How in the world did you do that? The Nora! I solved the mystery of that painting. We're on another page. How? I kind of want to say I'm not telling, but I want to be nice to all the students, I think. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide him off back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! the page go here page where to go our neighbor at home knows someone who's related to the alleged explainer was it on the other side Thank you. Hey. dang level four already okay where was it going i think madam sagawa's brother another side quest In the map. Wish I could meet him. Time to trade in my oak supplement. Oh dear. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Hmm. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow, I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Armin tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. <coughs> I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Accio. Got it. Only four more to go. And I do it all from one place. No. I think there's one more down here. I've this must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Oh, we haven't met Gareth. Gareth's the Weasley. Well, we 
kind of did when we when I played the other day or two weeks ago. I was testing the stream. I'm not going to read the whole thing, I don't think. Basically, I was just talking about one of the other students, and uh, oh, but and what she had for dinner. <laughs> Ooh, chess. Ooh. Lumos. That is... In the library. over there got it the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Rebellion. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. I kind of want to say perhaps a reward, but I don't know. What do you think? Blackmail or not? <laughs> Extortion or blackmail? Which one would that? Which one would that be? I did this option in the Ravenclaw uh, playthrough I'm working on too, and you can say you're only joking. But I'm not going to do that. Here Listen. you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone Ooh, yeah, to be reading the one, like I have a, that was, That's a cool wine to handle. What you get from that quest? To finally, have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I go aren't the quest. Okay. 
chat. Kitty. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now. Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Who should I go with? I think I need to go with Sebastian. I think you can unlock the, um, I don't know if you can unlock them earlier by going with him or not. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear. I think on my Hufflepuff playthrough, I'm going to choose Natty. Savory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Huh. The cat changed colors. <laughs> That's funny. My family and I travel somewhere every summer. 
Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. Got it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Accio. Brilliant. There we go. I trust the preliminary... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Did you decide if you're going to get the game or not yet? Or are you going to wait until it comes to the Switch or something? That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Repair it. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Rebellion. Yeah, that's fair. The point of me were fixing that. Let me say. Yeah, it's a fun game. I'm gonna wait to do that side quest. Or do I have to do it before I can go? No, I don't. <clears throat> Rebellion. Okay. <clears throat> this fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has the likeness of a uh, wyvern. Wyvern? I'm not sure. On top of. 
on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors uh, to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadigan. Remember him from the movies? This is most assuredly not meant to be the Wyvern of Y, claimed by the li lively knight in spite of himself. That's the painting that took over for uh, the fat lady in uh, book three. Dude, those are fun. I'll do those at another time. Relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> Aha. I made it. I wanted to get that that fast travel spot spot for later in the Speaking game. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. There's the Quidditch pitch. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. <laughs> that is big from the forbidden forest. Look, what's going Griff. on? See for yourself. Quite hey, a sight, isn't it? Griffith. You certainly don't see that every day. You think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Prancing from Sugarfoot. 
To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, we can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Watch this. Places to see, places to discover. Oh? Anything you'd like to share Never with mind. the class? Perhaps one day. If, I, if you I stand still or something, and now, can I? let that go through you. You still haven't told me how you became so it's, good at uh, It'll, um... It'll just pass through you if you're standing still. I enjoy the commotion, but where is Professor Anaya? I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself. Dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Need those for later. I never thought I'd actually enjoy it. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, well, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. <sighs> Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've huh. never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Akio! Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. I hate following quests. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes. Ditter me seeds, some spellcraft, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new one. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. They're so annoying. I just annoying. have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. I'm gonna go get the other stuff done before I go to the Ollivanders. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcraft Professor Weasley needed. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. 
But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Gotta get that at some point. And I gotta get that. That. All of these, because these give you uh, different herbs and stuff to use in potions. This makes fertilizer for a seed, seeds and stuff. This makes a uh, random potion every like 10 minutes, I think. And this makes uh makes moonstone once you unlock the room requirement at least you can get these Yeah, once I get to the point of being able to get beasts in this, I will might do some grinding off stream for money to get the rest of what I need to uh, get those uh, spellcrafts. I'm going to save... It's freezing every once in a while. Yes, it's... I don't know why it's doing that. to get the plant and the seeds I need to get first. Sir, I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a See, I want a beard like he his. Be positively reeling from it all. my characters. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. I oh. grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? I'm not, I've known... I knew well, some kids that were fresh. in my class that had uh beards already when i was 15 i think do have a look around 
plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Yeah. Let's come get ingredients, too. Like I said, I'll do that off stream. Where did the page go? My page. Akio. Yeah, maybe. It didn't even give us the option, though, of any facial hair, which is annoying. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspect that if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. A chest. Mm, nah. I'll wait for. I'll wait to check those. <laughs> Next stop, Ollivanders. <laughs> then the stream becomes a wine creator stream. <laughs> be right with ah it's you um just a moment please ah mm. hello sir i'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes uh, about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, 
perhaps. Well, yes. I'm straying the hair in the middle of his uh, rare wood, thirteen and three quarter is... inches dragon heart string. <laughs> Hanging on for dear life, Let's isn't give it? This one a try. <laughs> Here we go, wine creator strain. <laughs> Curious indeed. That's notched. How intriguing. Classic. Soft spiral. Spiral. That looks like a vine. Looks pretty cool. Curious indeed. Stalk. That's not, that looks like a bamboo stalk. Um, ring. And that kind of reminds me of the uh, elder one. A little bit. How intriguing. Crooked spiral. And natural gray. Or natural. There's different colors for all of them, too. So which shape do you like? Curious indeed. Natural or notched? How intriguing. Where's the notched? There's the notched. I'll show you different uh, colors too. Curious indeed. Light brown. Dusty pink. How intriguing. And the warm brown. With the natural. There's a uh, honey brown. Curious in the warm brown. There's a gr the gray. How intriguing. A notch warm brown. I think I'm going to get a notched warm brown. Curious indeed. Well, the natural gray looks cool. How intriguing. What do you think? Which one? Curious indeed. How intriguing.
curious. I think I'm gonna go with natural gray. Okay, now this part doesn't really matter. It doesn't change anything really. I think maybe the length of it it changes, but nothing else. What kind of wood should we use? How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. So many different wood types. I wish it affected how the, how the wands look. Curious indeed. How intriguing. I don't know how many options there are. Should have been counting them. One, Curious two, indeed. four, five. Curious indeed. Thirty eight or thirty nine. I lost count. You roll a D twenty and I'll roll one. Add them together or pick the mid middle part, middle one, between those two. How intriguing. Middle. Uh... Six, nine, four, Curious five, indeed. six, seven, eight, nine. Terry, <laughs> nice. Uh, how long should the one be? The max how is four, 14 and a half inches. The small, the short, smallest is uh, nine and a half inches. Ah, yeah. Perfect. I wasn't even thinking of that. How intriguing. 
We'll randomize this one too. One, two, three, four. Five. Curious indeed. How intriguing. If it's twenty, we'll re roll. We'll re roll. Fourteen. Curious indeed. Solid. Okay. That works. What about the core? Dragon heart string, unicorn hair, or phoenix feather? Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Is that good? Or should we change the wood? Or should we go with warm? How uh, intriguing. Curious indeed. I think unicorn, I think for unicorn, to be the core, I'll go with gray. Final choice. One once, one twice. Sold. What do you think? Oh, that, that looks cool. I wish I had done a different wine color. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> like now, from how did my Gryffindor. Feel? Good, different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to.
we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. What was that? Look out! A taste of his own medicine. Nicely done. That's right, you lumbering louts. He's faltering. A few more hits should do the job. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Oh, pay to go by. There it is. Okay. Repair us. I get to clean up the thing to worry about. After I'm alive in the troll, I get to clean out the city. Okay. Hey, that looks like a Tonkinese. Or Siamese. Repair us. Let me just put this whole building back together. No big deal. Missing something. Rebellious. I guess I was done. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? 
Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Bad I can't get these yet. The gear le um, increases in level as I level though. I'll probably wait to get any gear until I get you? to 40. Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more bat rebellion items. Should you be inclined? Unlike the enchanted, enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Glide Rags serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. My shop at your leisure. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord God. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time. Yeah, no. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. 100%. <laughs> Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with... <coughs> What time then? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Yeah, I want a beard like Once that. If you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. At no least. Need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. 
comfy ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we could talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. I feel like we're still in the uh, tutorial. I think now you can go, you, yeah. I think until you unlock all of the spells, that's all tutorial, which is like half the game, I think. I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining or anything. I go see Fig. Or do you think this is a good stopping point? Since... Yeah. Well, I guess we didn't get to do the Dark Arts Tournament. Or Dark Arts Battle Arena. I don't think I can do it yet. I think I have to go talk to him first. I think it's right here. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll see if I can go over there. I'll, I'll have to run over there, though. That's the only thing. I don't think I unlocked any travel points. Or, um... Blue things over there. Oh, yeah, I did. Never mind. On another adventure, are we? We'll play one, we'll do one round of it.
Hey, deer, get out of my way. What are you up Allow me to put you out of your misery. Rookwoods don't go down easy. I'm gonna have to take out two guard, two guards. The mine brings sure ruin. No, you're gonna regret coming here. Let me open. Nice. I got a cape already. Rebellion. I don't think you can use the Pat Patronus in this. Actually. In the only house that gets to Rebellion. uh the only house that gets to go to deal with um, any of the Dementors is a uh, is Hufflepuff. Yeah, a little bit, I think. So, should we do it? It's four four different waves of enemies. It did win the poll, so I kind of have to do at least one round, I guess. I'm doing it. See, I have the curses. This one's Imperio. Yeah, Imperio. Nevada Cadabra, of course. Crucio, and then it gives me this Confringo, Confringo. but uh, I can't change the spells or anything on this at all. Add the ones I want to. Never mind, I can. But then I can't switch it back. A lamb to the slaughter. Oh, I'm gonna make sure things do. Uh, I've seen you. Uh, <laughs> Where's the ranger? Okay. I'm not down with you. Let me go. You've made a great Sebastian is about this. An Ashwinder. Oh, such arrogance. Huh? Why can't I hit you? Fire flowers, what is a pup
Oh, really? Nice. Expulsion! How dare you do such a thing to me? I gotta use Protego six more times. Hey, there's dueling fates where you can uh, the, uh, the, there's a challenges too but you can either do them or not that, you don't have to do them but it gives you more experience Two more times. I can kill you. Hang. Come on. <laughs> Quite conductive, aren't we? They're stubborn on uh, easy mode, or story mode. <laughs> Expulsion! Nice. Finally. Okay. Who trolls this round? Here we go. Oops. 
Come on, hit me. Throw a boulder at me. There we go. Now I can do whatever I want. Back each other. One I, <laughs> the one I curse is just standing there. the troll. There we go. Um, I think I think this is the final one. This is the final round. Yeah, I'm done after this too. <laughs> I got the duelist mask. Yeah, I went up two levels. I think. Maybe a few more. Are you going to be on, uh, be able to show up Saturday if I do the stream Saturday? I'll go back here and save. Or 
Should I just wait till Tuesday to do it? Oh, okay. I'll just stream Tuesday then. I don't want to. Gotta go here. In fact, I can see that you insist that we go alone. Imagine how much simpler that I go in there. Because you don't have to ask them. No, because you don't have to worry about Accio. Yes, of course, so you don't have to I'm only asking. I suppose there are some advantages to not going to a dark one. We didn't even get to use the Vada Kadabra. Because I accidentally took it off my spell list. I didn't know it was gonna do that. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Yeah, I'll save right here. We almost got two levels, I think, from that. Yeah, next time we can do the that more of the stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll grind off stream. <laughs> I think with this combat, Jason would like this game. So It's really not a grind if you put it on, uh, yeah, I know, <laughs> but yeah, it's really not a grind if you put it on, uh, story mode, like, you can get one or two levels each time, even at high level, by doing the battle arena, that battle arena. Plus, you uh, complete these challenges down here, like the combat challenges. I, I did this one. You can, all you got to do is defeat dark wizards, and they pop up all throughout the, the battle arenas. That I already have. But yeah. But yeah, if he played this game, I think he would like it. But yeah, like you said, he's a little bit anti the game or whatever. <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm on the end stream. Go back to the main menu. Saved already, right? I'll save just again, just in case. <laughs> you too. Yeah, don't forget, check out the podcast if you haven't already. Um, I'll probably be back Tuesday then, next week. And oh, that's the intro. <laughs> Here's the outro. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Or stolen, whichever it is. <laughs> I might post the uh, YouTube video, or might, and I might not since it split itself. I'm not sure how to do that. I, I don't, I'm not sure how to combine those yet. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, have a good one. Thanks again for coming. Maybe eventually we'll be there'll be two or three people in chat chatting all night. <laughs> have a nice night. Bye everybody.